this was enough to knock out that cow. And here it is, the Mina Shroom. That's it right over here. Now it's supposed to quote unquote supposed to go into this area and face it directly. But there's no reason to do so when you can just sort of hang around out here and swipe at him from Whoa, okay, that is new. I did not expect him to actually bust through the um, fence like that. He didn't used to do that. But, I suppose I'm glad that he did, to be honest. I've always considered the Mina Shroom something of a pushover. So, as I'm finished here, I can go back and see if I can get into that room. I got plenty of dynamite. Not so sure I need any more of it. back home after this actually oh I was hoping that there'd be another one of those things I suppose uh, an uncrafting table is something of a nice to have but uh, it is nice to have it can certainly help let's grab another one of them just in case There's the head of the Mino Shroom. Hmm. Maybe I can put these here. And these. And the soapstone. I I think I meant to build something with it, but decided not to bother. And since I'm going back home immediately, I don't really need that pickaxe. Now I have no idea why Meef Stroganoff would be um, would would need its own space to take up. And I... Wait. Yeah, this is a, minot a Minotaur Axe. Mm. Let's just clear up here. And then it's back to that one mysterious spot on the map. Which I've been trying to break into. Still some cows hanging around here. It'll be hideously ironic if one of them actually offed me. Just follow my own trail back. But All right. 
right, let me, um... We'll be back here somehow. But I'd rather not go into any new territory if I can help it. Okay, that shouldn't have been a thing. So I will use this and it looks like I'm backtracking in the right direction. I remember when I started using fireflies, it was when I ran out of torches, but at some point I had to go back to torches. This does look like the right direction. Okay, yeah, uh, I think I'm in... I think I'm headed back now. Pretty satisfying to, to actually use the thing that done on me so much damage. Yeah, stuff that's on fire drops cooked stuff. But here we are back again. And that's where I put my lever. Okay, like the blue touch paper and retire so we're safe. Oh my goodness me. There was something back here. And it had so much dynamite in it. Around it. I'll put a stop to that. I suppose I better make some room in here. There's enough of this. No, there's milk to stock, but to stock a grocery store with. I just want this out of my inventory. All right. Oh my goodness, and what treasure it is too. Oh, this is in, these are infinity bows. I could so use these. So I suppose the question now is, Again, what do I not need? What can I do without? Well, 
But since I only need one spare set of armor... I can forego... I can swap out what I don't need. Yeah, that'll help. And I can ditch these and these. And probably it's paper too. I suppose I only need the one bow. Oh, and there's an ender chest. Well... I don't know, do I, do I really need one of them? I mean, yeah, they're handy. They can transport stuff, but then I'd need like a, a hopper to sort of suck it out. Well, this would make a good scuba diving helmet if I needed one of them. What's this do? Oh my! Breaking the maze. I think, yeah, there's like this one um, pickaxe which can take out actual parts of of the maze and or maybe it's just a really really good pickaxe yeah this is really really good I was able to get to that um, that one um, chest way in the back there without having to well I guess I did sort of disarm things didn't I but still it it really helps to know so how does this compare up to the let's see seven iron versus armor versus nine and a half armor Yeah, this will definitely do better for my spare set. Is there anything like that over here? No, no. But there was some iron I forgot to get. And some of these maze wafers. However, as difficult as this is for me to admit, I'm going to have to use this thing anyway. But you saw how easily it cut through the maze. That's the whole point of the maze breaker. I mean, it is so easy to really mess this up. You accidentally trip one of these oak pressure plates while it still has loaded dynamite under it. And then, well... Maybe this makes up for all those... those trapped chests I ended up tripping. Eh, I guess. What the... Okay, I don't know what that is, but... Uh, Looks like it's some kind of a light something or other. Ah, well. That was certainly a hole, wasn't it? I 
might as well take these seeds back. I've I've got room for them. Okay, well that was certainly a be productive. And now to go back home. So good to feel the sun again. Completely, I mean. So how's this going? Ah, ooh, we are so close to being finished. All right, well, I'll bet it'll be finished after I put away all my loot. But until then, last thing I gotta do, the very last thing, is to get power to well, everything that uses it that I need to process nuclear waste. There. Now I have here a basic chemical tank with some fissil fuel into it. In it. Hmm. I suppose I'll have to make a sort of a route around this. Um, for easy access to the fuel bay. We'll probably take care of that a little later. I think this is enough for now. All right. So let's see. Output, All right, blue. We've got some fissile fuel in here. It isn't much but it should be enough to give me an idea of 
how this plant functions. In reality... Did I? Yeah, okay. In reality, um, I'm gonna need a lot more fissile fuel. I mean, the tank is not even full. It's 64,000 and it can take, I don't know, probably 200, if I had to guess? Yeah, 200 buckets, I should say. Hmm. Well, this is giving me the... Staring at this thing is giving me the willies, but... I suppose the time has come. The injection rate is... 0.1 millibuckets per ticket. A uh, tick. That's 20 every second. That's uh, that's two millibuckets every second. So let me see. Okay, we're picking up uh, 370. Yeah, holding steady at 374.73 kelvins. This turbine is turning, it just isn't going very fast. And as far as I can tell, actually no, I can probably tell this by looking at this. Okay, so the coolant is holding steady at uh, 22.5 thousand buckets. I am going to increase the rate to 0.2. Okay, heat's still holding steady. to point three. It's a little bit higher, but the coolant is my main concern, and it's holding steady. Point five. And temperature's up a little, but uh, the important thing about this is that the coolant isn't. Um, it isn't dropping, or at least it isn't dropping visibly. That's why I have this window up here. Uh, I can look out of it and see the plant. It's a direct line of sight. Why do you think that's a thing? But have a look at this. 16 kilo FEs. That's a lot more than we had before. But since the coolant is holding steady, and the temperature is, at least for now, nice and manageable, I'm going to go the full one millibucket per tick. 385.48, that's still not that much higher. And that reminds me, how are we for nuclear waste? Oh, if I look at it through the configurator, you can see that there's some in there. Just run back here for a second. I, I got something I gotta check up on, like now. Um, where did I put that Geiger counter? Here it is. The Geiger counter. This is background radiation, or at least it appears to be background radiation. 100 nanosieverts per hour. Let me check here, for instance. Yeah, still background. I don't know whether any of you out there have ever seen the movie The Day After. But after the bombs um, stopped falling, and, well, I mean, nuclear winter hadn't been introduced just yet, but uh, when, th when the skies finally clear up, and people, are people start monitoring the radiation exposure in, well, since this was 1983, it's in rads per hour. And at a certain level of rads per hour, they consider it safe for exposure. The reality of the situation, of course, is that there really isn't a safe level. This is why I'm so edgy with this fission reactor. If this thing starts dropping, I'm switching it back to its previous burn rate. Speaking of burn rates, I think it can risk two millibuckets per tick. actually see the blades in the turbine moving. They were barely moving before, 
and the energy input is 51,000 FEs. I even let the green particles unnerve me. But they shouldn't. Should they? No. How's this doing? Do I... Oh, wait a tick. Um, okay, so I, I... Right now, I need both polonium and plutonium. Somewhere around here it's got some... Since it's raining out, though, we can't make polonium. We have to make plutonium. What's this thing set to? Yeah. Now the isotopic separator should be running. Or at least it should be running when it gets... What the... Okay, this is bad. Why... There's no power? Something's got to accept energy. 